Hello everyone, my name's Sam from Self Made Jewellery and if you're watching this it's likely that you've bought my skull earring kit from my website um, or a craft fair and you want to know more on how to make a closed loop on a head pin. So um, I will just show you what a head pin is because some of you may not even know what that means. This is a head pin, that is the head of the pin. So here's one I've already made earlier. I've pre-strung the beads onto my head pin and I'm gonna show you how you then create a loop. As you can see, there's a loop there, how you create that loop at the top of your head pin so that you can then thread your earring loop onto that and make a pair of earrings. So you need to take your round nose pliers, which are these ones, and your flat nose pliers it really doesn't matter you can actually use a uh, round and flat nose either way but these are the two that i've recommended for the uh for the tutorial so take your initially take your round nose pliers and grab your head pin and put your round nose plier as far down as you can and hold it like this you might recognize this picture from the um, instructions. And then you take your fingers and you bend, like so, the head pin to a 90 degree angle. As you can see, that's now bent a nice 90 degree angle. Sorry, a bit blurry there. Once you've done this, you take your round nose pliers you place the bottom of your plier, you hold it like so, gripping the head pin in amongst the plier, in, in the, with the pliers, sorry. And then you bend, pushing away from you, you bend the wire around. As you're bending, you can always take the head pin out of the loop and readjust it to however you feel comfortable and as you can see with a bit of adjusting you've made yourself a bit of a loop there okay so then once you've done that you need your wire cutters which are here these are the wire cutters and you need to put your as close as you can put your wire cutters on in the wire like that as close as you can, you can see that, to the loop and then snip. And that's it. Okay, so you can see it's not quite a loop yet. So you need to take your round nose pliers again, put them inside the loop and just sort of twist it closed a little bit. You can see that. So you put your, finger, put your round nose pliers into the loop twist away from you slightly and as you can see that's closed the loop up and to finish it off I find if you just put your flat nose pliers over it and just give it a gentle squeeze that generally flattens it all out makes it much neater and tidier if your loop is looking a little bit wonky to one side you can again put your round nose pliers in and just Gently tease it across a little bit more like that. There we go. And there you have it. That is your loop at the end of your head pin, your closed loop. And now I'm going to show you in another video how you open and close a jump ring so that you can attach your earring wire to this. Thank you.